HD. This is 12 News Weekend Today. All right, thanks a lot. Well, ask any nurse in the state at schools and they'll tell you that flu season has already started to hit us here in Arizona. Did you know there are some healthy things you can do in the kitchen to help boost your immune system? Joining us now, Chef Justin Poole from Sunfair, and he's getting everything ready here. We're going to talk about this uh, flu-fighting soup that will help both cope with it once you have it, okay. but also it can help boost your immune system to possibly prevent it, right? Absolutely. It's, it's all about preventative, eating right, and it'll just keep us healthier. And we're going to come back to you in just a moment, but what are, what are a couple of the key ingredients you're going to be showing us? Some of the key ingredients are going to be uh, some vegetables, cauliflower, celery, carrots, onion, and garlic. Garlic is a really good fighter and preventer of colds and flus. Yeah, we'll talk about why garlic is and also why uh, some of these other foods are important. So what we'll do is we'll come back and check in on that. And also coming right, up, Chef Poole is back with us from Sunfair showing us how to make this immune-boosting soup. And you're saying that soups like this have key ingredients, but you can also mix and match leftovers. Absolutely. Soups are a great use for your leftovers. Um, as an example, uh, the other day we had a birthday party. I had some tomato slices left over from our burgers. I had some grilled chicken left, some cauliflower, onions, carrots, celery, just little pieces and scraps left in my fridge. So I just grabbed those this morning on my way in. And we're just going to make a quick minestrone, okay. if you don't mind. So we just have a pot here. It's good and hot. We're just going to add in our celery. Oops. We're going to add in some onions. We're going to add in some carrots. We're going to add garlic. Garlic has a chemical compound, um, aline. What aline does is it helps to, uh, it's a natural decongestion. All right, so if you're already sick, you have a cold or something. This is great. It's going to open you up. Open it's just going to help you breathe more. It's going to help you sleep. Yeah, okay. Next, we're going to add our broth. chicken broth. And you can, you can pick up chicken broth at the grocery store. Just, you know, those... Uh, the little boxes. And one reason the, the broth in the soup is good for you is it, it gives you the energy you need. It does give you some energy. It's got a lot of uh, natural um, vitamins and nutrients in it. Along with all the vegetables that we're adding in there, um, it's a better alternative than going out and buying stuff, uh, you know, fast food and whatnot. Um, but another key ingredient to uh, cold and flu season and fighting cold and flu season is, is your diet. Vegetables, whole grains, uh, you got to get rid of that high fatty junk food, that high sugar, that's just going to lower your immune system. And you, that's what it's all about, really, is just preventative. All right. And what was that you just put in? Oh, right there was some garbanzo beans. Okay. Here we got some uh, quinoa. It's a whole grain. It's a, it's also a superfood. So this is going to be a good one. We're just going to put that in there. And that's just going to thicken up. Quinoa? Quinoa. So where would someone find that? Any grocery store, really. Okay. In the what section? Um, in in the, the rice and beans section where okay. your lentils are and whatnot. Here we have some okay. crushed tomatoes. You can just get that in your canned good aisle. We're just gonna put those in there. Okay, so this is just like a spaghetti sauce? Um, crushed tomatoes are, are or, a bunch of tomatoes just yourself. cooked down and crushed. Yeah, you could absolutely use fresh tomatoes. Okay, gotcha. We're gonna put a little salt, pepper. And I got some uh, thyme and bay. Put that in there. The other thing about cooking these kinds of soups is, is for a family, it's very convenient because it can last days. Very convenient, and it's a great way to use leftovers. Thanksgiving's coming up. You have all that turkey, all those sides left. You got soup for two weeks, I'll tell you <laughs> what. So we're just going to bring this up to temperature, bring it to a boil, we'll reduce it down to a simmer, let it cook for about 30 minutes. And what you're going to end up with is this right here. I made this earlier this morning. Yeah, this looks great. And it's just a nice soup. It's got chicken, vegetables, quinoa. Lots of garlic, onions. This is really good. This is going to make you feel better. It smells really good. This is going to make you feel better. And just as a little added bonus, what I did is I just took some beef steak tomatoes, sliced them up, put those down in the bottom of the bowl, just for a little extra. Okay, so you would just yeah take that and pour it on. And you guys deliver this soup as part of your food service as well, right? Absolutely. And you know, as a benefit, if you're a client of Sunfair and you do get sick, you just give us a call, one phone call. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and change your menu so that you're not getting a crispy duck salad, you know, when you have a sore okay. throat. <laughs> and we'll give you whatever you need. How Suits. can someone get a hold of Sunfair? Visit our website, sunfair.com. All it's right. It's the easiest way. Sounds good. Well, that looks great. It smells really good. Sunfair.com is where you can go if you want to learn more about uh, this recipe, but also about the in-home food service that Sunfair provides. That right? is correct. Chef Poole, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. After